The art of being a passenger is not hard to master. Some of us know it by heart. Compared to being the driver or the pilot, it's a lot easier to let the world pass us by, taking it all in as it comes. But one of the most important parts of being a good passenger is trying to capture everything. When the captain of the ship is too busy, it's the passenger's job to fill in the gaps, take some pics, and film some videos. If they don't, we miss out on unusual but memorable moments like these. 15 Strange Things Caught by Passengers Ghost Passengers Um, did anyone else see that? This crazy footage shows a crowd of people deplaning when there's no plane. What the heck's going on here? Is this the ghost of a crashed plane's passengers come back to their final destination? While the context of this video is limited, there's something very spooky about the whole thing. For example, if this was digital glass of some sort, there'd be many more videos from tourists showing how cool the display was. In reality, this is the one and only video like it. Though the people are viewed from quite a distance, the people walking appear to be unique to one another, further solidifying the notion of a deep planning of real people, or at least ghostly ones, they're even towing their luggage. The footage was said to be dropped by a pilot. The jet bridge is clearly not connected to any plane. So where in the heck are those people coming from, if not another world? Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. Man on a cruise ship captured something that shocked the whole world. Some sort of structure buried into the rock. Rock cut architecture is the creation of structures, buildings, and sculptures by excavating solid rock where it naturally occurs. Intensely laborious when using ancient tools and methods, rock-cut architecture was presumably combined with quarrying the rock for use elsewhere. But where did they carry the quarried rock off this mystery island? Historically, to provide security and stability, cities and buildings would be carved into mountains and caves. Eventually, developments in technology and engineering meant that civilizations no longer needed to rely on mountains and caves for structural integrity, but instead could build freestanding cities buildings and monuments. As for this structure, location and purpose unknown, it appears to have multiple rooms and even a spire or clock tower on top of it. Perhaps it's a lookout tower. We have to admit, if there was a battle at sea near this unique fortress, we'd rather be safe on this giant stone monolith than in the water. Wouldn't you? Comment below with the hashtag Sweet Topic. Mooning of the Amtrak For 30 years, the Southern California city of Laguna Niguel has been enjoying an odd annual ritual. Once a year, all the residents come out of their homes, parade down to the Amtrak train yard, line up neatly along the fence, and as the trains roll up on everyone, they drop through and moon all the passengers rolling past. You heard that right, a whole line of people pulling down their pants and mooning the people on the passing train. Men, women, children are all both victims and assailants in this scenario. This is a huge event, perhaps the greatest mooning to ever take place. Up to 10,000 people participate, and visitors are encouraged to leave their cars at home and arrive by train. Local legend says that the tradition started in 1979 after an unusual barroom bet. A patron at the Mugs Away Saloon, which stands directly across the street from the railway, offered to buy a drink for anyone who would run outside and moon the next train. One happily obliged, and the ritual was thus born. Each year, the event grows larger, with crowds swelling by word of mouth, messaging, and positive reports from radio hosts. There were reports in 2008 of surging crowds and disorderly conduct, and police and a chopper were called in from a neighboring town just in case. Emotional Support Duck The emotional pet world is getting crazier by the minute. Dogs and cats are one thing, but ducks? Meet Daniel the duck, or more specifically, Daniel Turducken Stinkerbutt. Yeah, that's his real name. He's an emotional support duck for a woman who suffers from PTSD after a driver rear-ended her on her horse and drove away, leaving them for dead. She can never leave the house for fear that something is creeping up on her back, and for good reason. That is until Daniel showed up and saved her life, she says. Daniel is no ordinary duck. He's mild-tempered, takes showers, eats macaroni and cheese, and often enjoys flights, that is, in an airplane, not on his own. He's of a species not capable of flight. While he can march around and flap his wings triumphantly, he can only stare out of airplane windows and feel the memories of past lives where the wind indeed flowed beneath his wings. For now, the two have each other, and it's allowed her to return to public places with safety secured. That's the thing about emotional support animals. Each person is unique, so their pet that soothes them is likely to be unique as well. 
one-person train station. You have to love a good heartfelt story. A train company in Japan has been making stops at a remote station for the past three years to pick up just one passenger. The Kami Shirataki station in Hokkaido is visited twice a day, once in the morning and once in the afternoon. These times perfectly aligned so that a schoolgirl can get to class on time and back home safely. The teenager catches the service at 7.04 a.m. every day for the past three years and returns at 5.08 p.m. like clockwork. Hokkaido Railway Company's service has been praised, and rightfully so, for its commitment to its customers. After some local media investigating, it was discovered that the train was used every single day by the young girl, and the company announced that it would stay open until she graduates from high school. Speaking to reporters later on that matter, the teen said she got on and off of this train for the past three years and this station's presence has become something she's taken for granted. Seeing it disappear after her graduation was one of the saddest things she remembers ever happening in her life. There's a certain assurance that at least you can get to school and back home every day. Some kids aren't offered such a chance. Ghost Hitchhiker A pair of motorists were terrified to observe and thankfully record a phantom hitchhiker standing at the side of the road. Though it was just a brief moment of clarity on the footage, the person driving claimed to have gotten a much better look and believe it may have been a ghost of a Second World War pilot. The attire for which the driver describes the ghost wearing would match in that case. The two people who captured the footage were driving along a poorly lit road in Northumberland. The headlight illuminated a man dressed in beige apparently trying to flag down a lift, says the passenger who noticed the ghastly figure first. They say moments later, the figure disappeared from sight entirely. Both saw a person waving down a ride and then nothing in a matter of a few seconds. No other cars had passed and there was nowhere for him to go. He simply vanished. <laughs> Tokyo Train Pushers Look, we all knew Japan was crowded, but this is crazy. There are literal jobs in Japan where train line employees are equipped with huge sticks to funnel and smush in as many people into the train as possible, while still allowing the doors to be closed safely. Essentially, the sticks meet flush with the train's entrance, which is the capacity the train can handle. If you aren't in the train and still between the pole, you're out and waiting for the next one. When it comes to getting home and from work, you wouldn't believe how crazy the trains get. Shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder packed train cars are the way to your destination. Where one one place lets off, another dumps more back on to fill the gaps. Despite all this craziness, Japan has developed one of the world's most advanced public transportation systems that can take you virtually anywhere in the country for a fraction of what it would cost a tank of gas, not to mention the advances in train speeds coming out of the country. The uniformed workers were first brought in at Tokyo's Shinjuku Station, where they were called Passengers Arrangement Staff, and largely comprised of students working part-time. Nowadays, there are no dedicated pushers by that type. The station staff and part-time workers fill these roles during peak hours and necessity. Welcome to Cleveland. What do you do if you own a home right beneath an airport so close that landing passengers can see through your living room window? You troll them, of course, or at least that's what this guy does, who fools incoming passengers with what he calls an ingenious plan. This person loves trolling plane passengers so much that he had a permanent addition installed on his roof that read, Welcome to Cleveland. The problem is he doesn't live in Cleveland, and the passengers are landing in Milwaukee. As the plane grows close to landing, the roof letters are clear as day. Some questioned after deplaning said the message didn't fool them, and others said a moment of fear coursed through their bodies, like a home alone moment for sure. For 43 years, the sign had adorned the man's property. The man, who was older now, claims to have been a young man when he decided to pull off that stunt. When he first put it up, the airport received numerous complaints about messaging, and they asked the owner to pull it down. He didn't and laughed all the time. Forty-some years later, it's still in place and stands as an iconic entrance into the Milwaukee airport nowadays. <laughs> Boji the commuter dog. Dogs are certainly getting smarter. So smart that they're figuring out how to commute on human transportation systems. Don't believe us? Check out Boji the commuter dog at work. He's become somewhat of a celebrity in Istanbul, with his friendly mug turning on anything from newspapers to news broadcasts. He finds himself company amongst the many people that ride the train. Sometimes he'll take a seat on the bus to see where the wind takes him, but only if a seat is available and no humans are standing. He's a polite pup. On the train, he mostly rests on the floor where passengers 
passengers will often pet and feed him treats along his journeys. He's become somewhat of an icon in the city, loved and cherished by all that see and meet him. Even dog haters can't help but deny his composure and spirit on his adventures. Dogs are typically shunned away in many places. For example, Boji went into a restaurant and two men shooed him away and yelled at him to go away. Moments later, someone else, the restaurant owner, showed up yelling at those guys saying, it's Boji, it's Boji. Don't shoo him, he's a celebrity now. That's the kind of power Boji is pulling in these days. <laughs> Amish Uber About 150 miles southwest of Detroit, Michigan, there's a small town called Cologne. If you were to ask the people what they call their city, they'd say the magic capital of the world as it does on their tour stop merchandise. Its population sticks to around 1,200 people. In other words, it isn't large enough to justify the existence of such rideshare companies as Uber there. In a town where everyone knows everyone, it wouldn't make much sense for them to have a service there. One Amish resident thinks differently about this and started offering rideshare opportunities across town with his horse and buggy. He's calling his service the Amish Uber though he has no association nor does he work for the company. For just five bucks, he can cart you around the town of magic from one end to the other. Of course, each way would be five bucks, but he gets around town. It's one more piece to the puzzle that makes the tiny little village shine even more. There aren't many places like it in the world, so appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> Cat Station Master Japan's cutest station master is a cat named Natam, the Wakayama Cat. Wakayama Electric Railway is home to the first feline station master of a private Japanese railroad. It's located in the Wakayama Prefecture Railroad that runs from Yakawama Station in Wakayama City all the way to Kishi Station in Kinukawa City. It takes about 30 minutes to run from one end to the other. After passing through the ticket gate, you'll see illustrations of Station Master Tama to lead you onward and in the right direction. Once you climb the stairs, easily identifiable by its cat prints guidance steps, your journey to meet the cat Station Master starts. Even the Kishi building construction came equipped with cat's ears and eyes. Immediately after descending the stairs from the platform, you'll find the glass encased Station Master's office where he lounges and carries on with his duties. You can find the cat on the job from 10 in the morning to 4 in the afternoon, Friday through Tuesday. That's quite a work schedule for the feline. In times of illness or extreme temperatures, her schedule is subject to change. It's a living creature after all. If you want to ensure you get to see the station master, there's a number you can call the head to verify her schedule. <laughs> X Scream Ever wanted to play on a giant teeter-totter? How about 866 feet above the ground? That's the X Scream Extreme Ride and it's one heck of a thrill. It's a space-age yet simplistic design resembling a massive version of the children's teeter-totter. Found in Vegas, this is unlike any other roller coaster ever seen. The X screen propels riders headfirst an impressive 27 feet over the edge of the sky pod. After being launched over the edge, passengers dangle weightlessly above the Las Vegas Strip, getting a once-in-a-lifetime view just before being yanked back and propelled over again to the other side. Back and forth they go until the ride is up, and back you go to the end of the line where you can wait in the typical three-hour wait. You have to really want to go ride this thing twice to wait in such a line, especially in the city of Vegas, where entertainment is a plenty. You can find this thrill ride on the Stratosphere Tower, the largest freestanding observation tower in the United States, and the tallest building west of the Mississippi River. The ride consists of an open vehicle that holds eight riders at a time. Installer said it has escape-proof seats and the car is attached to a pivoting track that propels the passengers at 30 miles per hour. <laughs> Backseat Driver There are dumb car modifications out there, but then there are just plain lunacy. Moving the steering gears and wheel to the back seat, for instance, is one of those that could be classified as moronic. Dubai-based car company King of Customs even made this crazy modification part of their everyday deals menu so everyday people can get this crazy mod added to their liking. They're apparently trying to make a new driving method, as in the left or right side differences, to back seat differences in Dubai. It isn't launching in the way they hoped. The bus train. Is it a bus? or a train. It's a bus train. The dual operational vehicle is set to change the world of transportation in Japan. Taking what's already been constructed in the thousands of miles of railroad track, this vehicle maker is taking advantage of it with their cars by allowing their vehicles to utilize the tracks. 
Theoretically, you can just drive right up to the track, hop on, switch modes, and scoot along the tracks all the way to your destination. This would make traveling from place to place faster, certainly, but then again, you still have to worry about trains coming your way. The idea is that these vehicles replace trains, and that's far away from happening in a place like Japan, where the public transportation has set the bar around the globe. So instead of getting right into your consumer hands, they're making a business out of it with buses. Adding to the already incredible variety of public transportation available to Japanese residents, the bus train will once again change the game, setting the bar even higher for the rest of the world to try and reach. <laughs> Gorilla Astronaut You may be wondering how a gorilla made it to space before you did, and you wouldn't be alone. It shocked NASA operators when they walked into the control room the next morning and found this creeper floating throughout the International Space Station. For his birthday, U.S. astronaut Scott Kelly was given a gorilla suit and decided to have some fun with it on the ISS members and Houston. Those astronauts have to stay sane somehow, so give them a break for having a little childish fun. Being trapped in an air bubble in space for months on end might have some psychotic repercussions for you too. You never know what might cheer you up when hovering above the earth for such extended periods. The hilarious encounter was then broadcast all over the internet and news media outlets all over the globe, first touting of gorillas in space and then of shenanigans and jokes. The footage unfolds off like a Hollywood film with a crew member loading a bag from a resupply ship into a laboratory and the cameras observing the situation. Then emerges the gorilla-clad astronaut and a floating chase scene unfolds that's utterly hilarious. Who's thinking of the next primate space-themed horror movie? <laughs> In-flight entertainment. In most cases, a three-hour flight delay while already boarded sounds like a nightmare. Who the heck wants to sit on a plane for three hours before the flight even begins? You won't see many hands going up in the crowd. For the passengers of this airline, however, they were treated with quite a show in the meantime of their delay. This may be the one time a three-hour delay actually ended up better for the people sitting on the plane, at least in some sense. After all, you don't get to see a world-famous orchestra play firsthand and without cost. On board was the entire Philadelphia Orchestra, who upon hearing of the delay, popped out their instruments and surprised passengers by performing an impromptu performance aboard the plane. The orchestra played for hours, dazzling the passengers on board the flight. When it was all over and some of the passengers were interviewed about the encounter, they said they made the wait that much easier and go by much faster. They essentially turned an awful situation into a one-of-a-kind experience. You can't argue with results like that in the end, especially when all parties eventually made it to their final location. It's a good thing cameras are easy to use as they are today, otherwise we wouldn't be capturing amazing footage exemplified like here today particularly the advances in camera technology that allow passengers and travelers to record their journey while moving. Oftentimes, that's when most exciting things happen, and it can be all over in a matter of seconds. If you enjoyed this video, smash that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.